you guys welcome back to my channel vibing after dark underscore with mo and if you're new to my channel how about hit that subscribe button and if you're returning subscriber how about send them to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us and please 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 make sure you like this video that helps out a lot and thanks in advance all right you guys so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be talking about Krishan rock visiting her family for mother's day and we also going to be talking about Blueface posting a new birth certificate with Junior's last name changed to Porter. And Carlissa has some things to say about that, along with Carlissa's sister. Also, Krishan's sister, Chastity, and her two cents in how she felt about the situation. Okay, so let's jump straight into the video. So after Krishan left the game in Denver and all the commotion that went on with that, with the note and everything, she made her way to Baltimore to see her family. So I'm going to post y'all just... A video of her sister Chastity on her Instagram story of her being around family and things like that. Me. No, I love you more. Nobody great. Body greater Jesus. Hey, he's gonna be with you tomorrow. Jordan coming up tomorrow. I know. And my little nephew, he's gonna be here tomorrow. So, Jordan going to NC State. I got the baby. Capricorn. Look at Uncle Terrence on duty. And look at Lonnie doing mommy lashes. <laughs> look at happy, y'all. This ain't even half us. Recession proof. I know. I he looked like a That's right. But he looked out for your mother. That's right. Don't let it show us love. That's right. 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 Yeah, gang gang in this bitch. You already know. Talk about. His name Greg. <laughs> Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Kumbaya. Hit me. Okay, so after Krishan went to see her family, earlier today, Blueface posted a new birth certificate with Krishan named Sam Porter. So it looks like Krishan got Julia name changed to Porter, as she said she would. She said all of their names going to be changed. And Blueface posted from his page, but y'all know how I feel about that. I feel like Krishan is running Blueface Snapchat. But like I said, he would have to give her the okay to post whatever she feel like posting. And he's allowing her to post things like that. So I feel like he's okay with it. But we all know one person that is not in support of it or don't believe it. You got Carlissa posted to her Instagram story. She said, we praying for you, son. This all could have been avoided if you had continued to listen, trust, and obey. Then Carlissa posted this to her Instagram. She must have Googled it. She said, can you put a father's name on a birth certificate without him present in California? And it said, both mother and father must sign this form and the hospital birth clerk must witness the signatures. If you do not add the baby's father name at the time of birth, you may add it at any time in the future. This can be done at our office or department of child support services. So with her posting the Google answer, she said, I couldn't even do it without my kid's father present. I hope my son changes his son's name, but by law, he can't do it from prison. That's a fraud document, unless his father lied and said he is the father. So then Carlissa goes to post and said, my aunt works at the state records department. I'll let y'all know when it's changed. Also, grandparents have rights to all birth records of all their grandchildren in the state of California. If you are on your child's birth records, please stop sending me fake news. She also said, I thought y'all said my son signed the birth certificate. I don't know about the name change. I just know that my son can't be added to the birth record until he gets home. So post the part where it says Jonathan Jamal Porter under the father. 
So Carlissa's sister came out and posted on her Instagram story and she said, I never met the aunt who works for that state. She must be a ghost. So she's implying that Carlissa just made that up about her aunt working there. Krishan's sister Chastity then jumped into the mix and she said, I'm so tired of this lady. I can't wait to see her again. I'm going to make her shut herself. She thinks Sean made her piss herself. Watch how I do her. I don't care if I'm pregnant. Next time I see her, I'm a dog her. So Carlissa did not take what Chastity said too well. She said, threatening public officials is a felony crime. Criminals belong behind bars. She then reposted what Chastity said and she said, I'm calling your PO threatening me on the internet is felony. You gonna piss me in prison first. So then Carla supposed to DM where somebody said, hurry up and call on that dirt bag. She said, yeah, because you going too far being a convict and all. I don't do the threats and this is the second time. I didn't hear her tell her sister nothing about threatening me and my son life a few months back. But if they like prison, so be it. Carlissa says, someone please send me her government name. Thanks. I ain't playing with none of the low lives no more. I've had it up to here. I got lawyers now. F with me if you want to. You will wake up in handcuffs doing push-ups for life. So then Carlissa posts her DM to her story and the person said her name is Chastity Malone. I believe horrible to threaten to fight someone while pregnant. Makes sense why Krishan is the way she is. Sorry, Rashawn. Natty Malone is her name. So then Chastity posted this and they all went live and she said, I stopped beefing with people when I realized they felt important being my enemy. And his Carlissa again said, who threatens a senior citizen? So then Krishan updated her Snapchat and this is what she had to say about it all. Y'all dumb as fuck. I signed my child birth certificate. I'm the only person that can change anything on the birth certificate. I'm the only one that signed the birth certificate. They are saying it's fake. Nobody the fake. Is this tattoo fake? No. All right, all right, all right. And then here we go, bitch. Let me wipe my ass. I gotta wipe my ass. You got me fucked up. Let me wipe my eyes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all not worth it. Yeah. Let me flush your bitch into it. Yeah. You the piece of shit in the toilet. Stop playing me, dog. If you want attention, say that. If you want some clout, say that. Stop playing with me. I've been sweet and cool for right now. I ain't been popping my shit. Baby daddy want me to wait to pop my shit. So I'm gonna wait to pop my shit. So then Carlissa goes live right after and here's what she had to say about it all. On me and my son. That's the second threat I done let go under the rug. Y'all better have a mother no money. Since y'all so hard up. Yeah, I, ain't, I I don't need blue to protect me. My husband worked for the FB to the mouth. Try the of me. Post a threat on, on me and see don't you get picked up for it. I'm not the one to play with. Just because I done let some shit slide don't mean I'm going to let everybody slide. Get somebody else to play with. If, I, if somebody asks me, one of my son's fans asking question, I'm going to answer every time. And you don't have to say my name when you threaten me. You could just threaten. You ain't supposed to be threatening nobody. I can protect a citizen, any citizen that you putting a threat on. So you don't got to put my name on it. You will still get picked up and have to answer for it. Now leave me alone. I'm going to continue to talk my until I feel like I'm done talking. Like I said, when she was out here threatening me and my son, you should have told her to stand the down. I answered a simple question. Somebody asked me my opinion, on, sent me a thousand birth certificates that don't got my son's name on it, but got his last name on it. Yes, I'm a snitch every time because I make too much money and my life is way more valuable than some weirdos trying to threaten somebody on the damn internet about their opinion. Keep your mothers to yourself. Unless somebody paying us to put our dukes up, we ain't putting our dukes up. Now, if you find somebody to pay for us to put our dukes up, I'll put my dukes up with you. I'm not fighting no weird people for free. Now, if you get somebody to put a bag on it, I will show up.
don't matter who she threatens. She don't got to say no names. She's a mother convict. You ain't supposed to be threatening nobody on the public internet. That's a crime. And as a convict, you should know better. Now shut up and leave me the phone. When I'm talking about my god son. Okay, so like I said earlier in the video, Krishan went live with her family. And Krishan's niece was holding Junior. And he, she wanted everybody to see Junior. So Krishan decided to tell everybody that she has a lazy eye like Junior or Junior has a lazy eye like her. And I personally feel like Krishan just tried to get ahead of the media because the baby is like in the camera. And every time the baby is really just seen in the camera like that, the video goes viral and a lot of people talk about how he's not developing right. So I think that's why she said what she said about him because he was kind of staring off. And I think that's why she said that. For real, it came. All right, you guys. So that's all I have for y'all in this video. Y'all let me know. Do y'all feel like the name change is legit or not? Do y'all feel like she was just trying to save face for the public by saying he got a lazy eye? And how do you feel about Carlissa jumping in the mix and Carlissa's sister? Basically calling Carlissa out on her saying that they had an aunt that worked at the office. And she saying she never met the aunt. So basically trying to say that Carlissa was making that up. Let me know in the comment section below. I do comment back and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.